One sunny morning, Max and Milo woke up to find that their owner, Mrs. Smith, was looking very sad. When they asked her what was wrong, she told them that she had lost her most prized possession, a beautiful golden necklace that had been passed down through her family for generations. She had been wearing it the day before while working in the garden, and now it was nowhere to be found. Max and Milo knew how much the necklace meant to Mrs. Smith, and they were determined to help her find it. So, they set off on an adventure through the woods, searching high and low for any sign of the missing necklace. As they wandered deeper into the forest, they encountered all sorts of obstacles and challenges. They had to cross a babbling brook, climb over a towering tree, and navigate through a dark and spooky cave. But they didn't let any of these obstacles get in their way. After many hours of searching, they finally came upon a clearing in the woods. And there, nestled amongst the tall grass and wildflowers, they saw a glint of gold, the lost necklace. Max and Milo were overjoyed to have found the lost treasure. They carefully picked it up and brought it back to Mrs. Smith, who was overjoyed at the sight of it. She hugged the two brave spaniels tight and thanked them for all their hard work. But the adventure didn't stop there. As they were heading back home, they heard a faint meowing sound coming from a nearby bush. Max and Milo followed the sound and found a tiny, lost kitten shivering in the cold. Without hesitation, they picked up the kitten and brought it back to Mrs. Smith, who was delighted to have found a new addition to the family. She thanked Max and Milo again and gave them each a big, juicy bone as a reward for their bravery and kindness. From that day on, Max and Milo were known as the bravest and most loyal spaniels in all the land. And Mrs. Smith never forgot the day that her two faithful companions brought her beloved necklace and a new kitten back to her. But their adventures didn't end there. One day, while out for a walk in the park, they came across a group of children who had lost their ball in a pond. Without hesitation, Max and Milo jumped into the water and retrieved the ball for the grateful children. Another time, they helped a lost hiker find their way back to the trailhead by leading the way through the dense forest. And when a group of baby ducks got separated from their mother, Max and Milo helped lead them back to the safety of their nest. No matter where their adventures took them, Max and Milo were always ready to lend a helping paw. And Mrs. Smith was always there to thank them and give them lots of love and treats. As the years passed, Max and Milo became the most beloved dogs in the whole neighborhood. And everyone knew that they were the kindest, bravest, and most loyal companions anyone could ask for.